Are robots okay? <laughs> uh, well, look, robots are all around us. They're, they're doing more and more all the time. They're picking goods in warehouses. They're assisting in brain surgery. They're performing dangerous jobs in research laboratories. Uh, and they're even expected to replace infantry soldiers in time of war. <laughs> Good grief. Well, look, we've always been somewhat nervous about this, but the pace of development is now just astounding. More recent advances in machine learning have added software which are making robots ever better informed about their surroundings. Uh, they're equipping them to make wiser decisions. But is this a good thing? Is the disruption to our lives worth it? As, as they get smarter, could they even be planning to, at some point to attack us? Understandably, there are widely varying views on this. So here we go. Let's, let's examine them. Uh, it might seem like a fanciful subject right now, but believe me, it's going to become more and more important. So first of all, what about the, those who say, yes, uh, robots are okay? Well, uh, like every previous uh, scientific advance, especially those which have a, a major impact in the way we work, there's always going to be resistance, uh, sometimes even violent resistance. Such was the case when the General Electric Company in America decided to automate the manufacture of light, bulb, light bulbs more than a century ago. Well, there was violent resistance. Uh, but someone calculated that if we still made light bulbs the same way we did before that change, we would be employing the entire workforce of the USA making light bulbs. We'd have gone hungry just to save jobs, is what that really means. And the same sort of logic and sequence of uh, thinking applies over and over again, uh, the opposition to advancement. This means that because of Improved productivity and lowered cost, economic growth will benefit greatly, and that'll be good for everybody. So that's what we want, isn't it? Economic growth, economic prosperity. Robots are in many ways superior to the human beings they replace. They're stronger, they don't get back problems, they can work 24 hours a day, seven days a week without fatigue. They're reliable, they make fewer mistakes, there's less wastage, fewer quality fa failures. Uh, they do really dangerous jobs that no human being wants to, wants to be doing, like uh, clearing mines or ha handling extremely toxic materials in research laboratories. Uh, they don't talk back or foment discord. They don't start trouble in factories. <laughs> uh, they don't attack the evils of management and how they're being exploited. They just do what they're told to do. How nice. So, uh, they could not be coming at a better time. Many industries are facing labor shortages. Uh, we need robots. Uh, they're just essential. Hooray for robots. Okay, well, what about those who say, no, 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 we... Robots are not okay. We should be aware of them. The nightmare scenario, of course, involves the possibility that they're getting too intelligent. Uh, this may sound like the stuff of science fiction movies, but, but there is the real prospect in the minds of some that they will become smarter than we are and will be able to outsmart us and begin to operate in their own interests, not in ours. <laughs> How's that for a scary thought? Uh, more immediately, robots are dehumanizing work. Uh, robots are watching hotel housekeepers, software developers, call center workers, all of this just to make sure their work pace uh, doesn't flag. <laughs> uh, robots have also arrived in the form of supervisors, foremen, middle managers. They're replacing all of them. Uh, no job is secure with robots. Uh, Amazon workers in particular seem to be vulnerable to the dehumanizing effects of uh, robotic scrutiny. Uh, everything they do is monitored and measured in the interests of improved productivity. It makes the ability for workers to relax and enjoy what they do almost impossible. It's a really a nightmarish 1984 kind of situation at Amazon. 
And as a result of robotization, tens of millions of jobs are going to be lost, especially in poor local eco e uh, economies that rely on uh, lower skilled workers. This will therefore translate to an increase in income inequality. Oh dear. Um, and uh, when all the jobs, except those in the robot making business, are gone, most people could easily become fat blobs binging on beer and donuts and watching car crash videos on YouTube. <laughs> Do we want that? I don't think so. Okay, well, what's my take on all of this? To my mind, uh, there is no question that robots are highly desirable for economic growth and that their increased use is simply inevitable. But we do need to find ways to soften the dehumanization of work, and I'm quite sure that societal, societal pressures will build and build, and, and I'm sure that we will be uh, able to make strides in this area. We'll be able to kind of uh, put, put a little bit of control over them. But most important, here is my advice to youth. Unless you want to become a marginalized discard in the world of work, it's essential to get training and education to prepare yourself for skilled work. No, no one is free from the threats above, but some more than others. Hit the books, study, think about what you're going to be doing for a living and make sure that it's something that can't easily be replaced. <laughs> That's my advice, and that's what I think about the whole subject. Well, I hope you liked that. If you did, uh, please give me a like, uh, subscribe, notify, comment, and all of that. And I'll see you with the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.